today, um, let's talk about where the complexity is. Yeah. Uh, the complexity is in making a decision of what's the right kind of resource to send to inspect as an example, right? So the method of inspection becomes really important. Um, the second is what's the most efficient way to dispatch to that method of inspection and get the end product back from there, right? Um, so I think there is there is some there is some play there. Uh, there's a lot of time and money that gets spent in reviewing claims. Uh, so hey, you had an IA, let's say, go through the work, or for that matter, your owner just to go through the work. So actually spending a lot of time in actually reviewing that. If I switch to the to the more uh, more casualty side of the business, it's about identifying which claims potentially can have a nuclear verdict um, as early in the process as possible. It's about um, managing the injury of an injured worker or or of a claimant and helping them sort of get back or get their life restored. So as I look at the future, right, our innovations are focused in these areas. Uh, and those innovations, again, go back to how do we use data? How do we use AI? How do we use machine learning? How do we use um, what I call institutional knowledge to make decisions as opposed to individual brilliance to make decisions, right? Because as the um, workforce ages and, and gets a well-deserved retirement, a lot of that knowledge is going to be lost. A lot of that individual experience and brilliance will be lost. And it's important that you capture that as quickly as you can today and invest it so that it becomes institutional judgment. It becomes institutional experience and institutional decision making. That wasn't possible 20 years ago, or maybe if it were, it was very expensive. Today, you can do that with AI and machine learning. And that's what we're trying to pitch. You know, That's Rohit Verma, CEO of Crawford & Company, and this is the future of insurance.